good. Where are we now, Kelly? We're in Piggy's Paradise. This is Piggy Paradise. Oh my God, I'm home. I think I've died and gone to heaven. Okay. They're actually incredibly clean animals. Yeah. They like to go to the toilet as far away from where they sleep yep. as possible. Yeah. We're kind of walking through their toilet area right now. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pigs are clean animals, they don't like to go to the toilet where they sleep and when they're on that truck with all the poo on, on them and then when they're in those farrowing sheds in the factory farms with all their feces on them and where they poo into these grates below them, we all over these concrete floors and they've got such a heightened sense of smell, it's just torture for them, it's constant torture, they don't want to smell their own excrement just like we don't. Like, so it's beautiful that they've got enough space here to do their business away from where they're sleeping. It's not like stairway to heaven, the pathway to paradise. <laughs> it's their dam full of water and mud. Pigs love mud, hey? They love it. So the pigs can't sweat. So in okay. the time they use this to cool themselves down. Yeah. They roll in the mud as like a sunblock and an insect repellent as well. Oh, cool. So in Piggy's Paradise, I'll show you, we've actually installed showers for the pigs that they can turn off and on on their own. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Hello, how are you? Oh, that feels good. Oh my lord, have mercy, Thumbelina. Thumbelina. Hello. So, Thumbelina, can you please sit? Wow! Good girl! Good girl, Thumbelina! <laughs> so, by no means do we do it as like a circus act. We no, no, no. How incredibly intelligent yeah. the animals are. Yeah. They're similar intelligence to a three year old child. And yep. Fifth most intelligent animal in the world. Fifth most intelligent animal in the world. I think. And yeah, it, yeah. It also, it shows that she can remember the past and anticipate the future. So there you go, Thumbelina, thank you so much. You're doing vegan advocacy. You're showing people how smart all your species are. No. Oh. So anyone out there who wouldn't put their dog in the position they put pigs in for bacon, look at Thumbelina, see? They're intelligent, they desire life, they don't want to be harmed, and they love weak pigs. <laughs> you know, right, Thumbelina? And cuddles. And cuddles? Do I get a cuddle? Do I get little cuddles? He's still looking for food. Food over cuddles? <laughs> what about no worries. gangster's paradise? <laughs> Pigster's paradise? I walk through the valley of the shadow of mud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I look up and there's a wee pig for me. <laughs> there's a dam okay, in my bye city bye. and I'm, I'm a little piggy. <laughs> there's a dam in my city and I am a little piggy. <laughs> arrived a couple of years ago um, so he was actually he was a much smaller piggy then but he was being attacked by pig dogging dogs at the back of someone's property is that why he has no ear yeah and who's coming up to this say is hi Leon Trotsky. this is Thumbelina's boyfriend so most of the pigs here have a best friend or boyfriend or girlfriend that they hang out with and spend all their time with is he getting territorial over Thumbelina uh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> he really likes you oh dear <laughs> hello mate how are you? Leon's also one of our best buddies and when he arrived he was a tiny piglet <laughs> and we had to have him in a teeny tiny wheelchair to help him get around. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favourite, Leon Trotsky. You're my homie. <laughs> Big floppy ears over his eyes. Oh dear. Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's got a kiss from, kiss from Thumbelina. <laughs> Leon Trotsky might get a little bit jealous there. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going now, Kelly? I just wanted to quickly show you the showers that we have for the piggies. The, the, sh the pigs have their own shower? Pig showers, and they can turn them off and on on their own. Oh my lord, can you show us how they work? Yeah, sure, you can come in. Get, let me get this straight. Do you, do you have footage of the pigs having a shower? Yeah, we've got it on our website. Okay, we'll, we'll cut in and show you piggies having a shower right now. And then that will turn on for a certain amount of time. Yep, for a little shower. We'll and then the... <laughs> oh, I'm done. <laughs> nice and clean now. So, so the pigs like having a shower and keeping clean. Yeah, so the wow. first pig that learned how to do it, his name is Albert Einstein. And he came up here and he was just scratching his butt against the wall and then the water came on 
and then everybody else saw and kind of copied. So they learned yeah, from they each learned. other. Yeah, they're really, really clever. Albert Einstein. Yeah. He's going down in history. <laughs> the genius pig. Who's oh. this? Oh my lord, Captain Jack, you waking up for your morning shower? <laughs> it, hello. How are you? Oh dear. Did we wake you up? Did we wake him up? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello. So Captain Jack is the pig I was talking about before. He uh, came from a... He's, he's like the typically factory farm breed of pig. Which yep. is a land race cross large white. Okay. And they don't ever let them get this big when they're... They usually kill them about th six months old. Yeah, you never really... six months of age. Yeah. So pigs will keep growing for their first five years of life. Wow. Yeah. And here's his girlfriend, Dolores. Dolores, oh my, you're beautiful. You're very, yes. Captain Jack, you're a lucky pig. Hello, Dolores. Oh, that was a big yawn. Oh no, we missed a yawn. Hello, Dolores. So Dolores is sometimes in a not so nice mood. Oh, okay, so she might. Okay, I, I'm, I'm here just to say hi. Are you grumpy? Are you grumpy, Dolores? There we go, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to piss you off, Dolores. <laughs> Let me just get under here. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the spot right there. Oh. Yep. Does what it says on the packet. It's good. Let's go see their beds. Let's go see... What's that show called on MTV? Cribs. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to PRG Cribs. This is the piggies. This is their bedroom, hey? Yeah, this These... is where they hang out. Oh, they just like to come in and chill in their rooms. Any time of day or night. Oh, well, could... Leon Trotsky and Thumbelina. Thumbelina and Leon. Hey, guys. Is this your pad? I love the layout in here. I love the decorations here. Oh, my Lord. That's the famous Edgar. Inspiration for Edgar's mission. How dope. How cool. Am I allowed to try out one of the beds? Just, yeah, just, sure. Just that... I think I'm stealing so, his... When he was a little pig. Oh, oh my god! Check this out! <laughs> Look at Leon! This is Leon as a piglet. Check out his little little wheelchair. Alright, we're gonna jump on the bed. Gonna see how good this is. Oh that's you, you know what? You can actually sleep on this, no worries. Just wait for the dust to settle. You could, eh? Wow, this is heaps comfortable for them. They must love that, eh? It's really clean and see how clean it is in here? This is what Kelly was saying before, how they don't poo or wee where they sleep. Oh, hello, Thumbelina. Hello. I've come, I've been laying on your bed. Thumbelina loves Chris. Chris the camera guy. So those horrible farms where they're living in their own waste, it's just so bad. Hey, Leon. Oh, dear. Pigs are my favorite animal. Yeah? Yeah. Always since I was like a little kid. Not yeah. since being a vegan, just I always drew pictures yeah. of pigs and was infatuated with pigs. Was also eating pigs. Yeah. I didn't know, really. Oh, here we go on Belly Rub Central over here. <laughs> Who's this? Hampton. Hampton. Hampton loves the belly rubs we hear. You know what's up now, don't you? Belly rub time. <laughs> Hello, Hampton. How are you? You gonna flop over, but Hampton? Gonna flop oh, oh there, yeah. there he goes. Oh, there's the flop. The belly rub flop. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Hampton, you're the best. <laughs> Your only job at the sanctuary is to take belly rubs. <laughs> Yeah, well, piglets are born in the farrowing shed, and there's dead piglets everywhere in a farrowing shed, and they just smell like a hellhole. Really, lots of suffering in there. And the mothers keep producing piglets for two or three years, and then they're sent off to be gas chambered or electrically stunned and killed. The piglets will go into growing pens and be raised for about six months, and then they'll be sent off to be slaughtered as well. So they all they all get slaughtered. Usually, really young, five or six months old, and we're at. Diamond Valley Pork the other day, seeing all those six month old babies covered in their own excrement going into that gas chamber to suffer and die. But these are just success stories of 
very, very lucky animals in the spectrum, of, in the scheme of things. I mean, you're talking about billions of animals that don't make it and get tortured and killed and Hampton gets to lay on in piggy paradise getting belly rubs. And I wish they all got that, but lucky you Hampton, hey? Oh dear. Leg tickle, is that your favorite spot? Is that your favorite spot? 